exactly. All right, let's yeah. look at some games from 2003. That's <clears throat> what we're doing this stream. This is from the U.S. Championship in Seattle against Stas Krivensov. Uh, he played into my preparation. If you buy my chessable course, you'll see this position a lot. I played G6, the Accelerated Dragon. And I decided to play a line I don't usually play. Normally, I play Knight F6 here. Um, but I played this line, which is different. Then you play Knight G4, confusing the audience. Notice my Knight's attacked and his Knight's attacked mm -hmm. and so forth. So we played the main line. And I've had this position uh, twice, uh, three times. Um, and I played Knight E6 a couple times. Larson likes to play that move. And here I played E5, which I prepared specifically specifically for this game. Um, and he didn't um, play aggressively. Like you can play queen d2 and knight b5 or knight d5 or h4, h5. But he didn't do any of that. He just played, you know, sort of boring. Knight b5 is a good move. Thing. Take, take. d5. Yeah, you're, you're, you're supposed to play knight b5 with your bishop not on d3. Because you you want to get rid of this knight and you want to control the d5 square. But when he plays bishop d3, he's blocking his queen from his d5 square. Then he played knight b5. That's just wrong. So now when I take, I play d5 and black's already slightly better. So he just didn't understand you play knight b5 with your bishop on f1 or e2. So d5 would just lose a pawn. So black is clearly better here. Engine doesn't like the move f5. I like it. Now it says I'm better again. I just got these two nice center pawns. He's got doubled pawns. <clears throat> so why did you decide to trade there? Well, my queen's pinned. Oh, I see. I didn't see that. So we're going to trade queens. Okay, yeah, you got to. I was wondering. Then I played e4. Yeah, those pawns are nice. Yeah, I showed this position to Powers Booth, and he said, prettiest pawn center I ever saw. What What, what are you quoting? Uh, Tombstone, oh, when yeah. he saw Billy Zane doing Shakespeare, or not Shakespeare. It was something. He was doing a stage thing. The yeah. mouth, the, some of the mouth is pretty. Or? No, he said, oh. he said, prettiest man I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we played normal chess. He's normal. I kicked his rook out. Big advantage to black. Now he wants to play bishop g5. h5 x clam. That's the best move. I like end games, so. Now, for the crowd, the crowd has rights, right? What would you do after here, Karen? Um, bishop c5. Mate. Confusing the audience, so he didn't do that. Then I forced the trade of rooks. So these pawns are stuck on dark squares. That's good for me, and it's bad for him. Because I want to walk in here, and I want to take this, and his bishop can't go anywhere. So I control the white squares, so my king can just walk in. I don't really care if he takes my a-pawn. Play king takes pawn and queen. I just ignored that. That I ignored that. Engine agrees. Isn't it pretty, the position? Mm -hmm. I queen first. And then he resigned here because he loses both of his pawns, which is funny. Like, his king has to go to the C file. Then I take this with check, and then I take this. So here he resigned. 
I mean, I think I played well that game. I think, like, if I put it on a the cap score, it's going to say, like, 95 or whatever. Yeah. That's correct. I am a piece down. <clears throat> and you said this was from what tournament? The U.S. Championship. Against Stas Krivensov. There's two funny stories about Stas Krivensov. Okay. Stas Krivensov was playing poker on the internet. Mm-hmm. And this is in Chicago a long time ago, like before this. And he he didn't want to play in the tournament. He wanted to play poker online. He played poker online nonstop. <laughs> but it was like a it was like a strong tournament. It was like he had to play. Yeah. So he had somebody call him on move eight or nine. His phone rang, he was forfeited, then he went and played poker. <laughs> the, that, that he definitely had a friend call him. He turned his phone on, he you know. He, he wanted to get forfeited so he could go play poker online. And that was in... It was in Chicago in some tournament. Why did he have to play? Well, he didn't want to withdraw because he had like he was an invited player, I guess. He's, oh, an, he's an IM. Oh, yeah, that yeah. would look bad. Okay. Then another funny story, and this is funnier. At the U.S. Championship, possibly at this one, but they had a few in Seattle. So it was in Seattle. Uh, when your phone rang, you weren't forfeited. You were like penalized. This was a long time ago. So his phone was on. His phone, his phone didn't ring. He was on his phone. He was talking on his phone. Mm-hmm. And it didn't seem like anybody called him. It seemed like he was the one. And he was in the tournament room in the U.S. Championship. So Carol Jarecki's like, what are you doing? You're on the phone in the U.S. Championship in the tournament room. And he said, my wife, her, she lost her credit card. I'm telling her what to do. And then, and then Carol Jarecki pushed him outside. There was a door. And he pushed him, pushed him through the door, and he fell outside. And then she went and yelled at him. So that was funny. <clears throat> but I like the way he's on his phone talking in the U.S. Championship room. God damn. If you did that now, you'd be killed. Back then, he got like a five-minute penalty. He could play King G5. He could play Bishop G5. And then I would play King F5. I don't want him to play eight. It's important he doesn't play G4 because then bishop G5 check would be winning because I can't defend my bishop. So H5 is the only move that gives me the advantage. If I blunder and play king F5 first, he plays G4 check because my king needs to defend my bishop. So H5 is basically the only move. Then I can cement myself on F5. And his G3 just loses. That's a terrible move because now when I play D3 check, I can walk in with my king, which I did. So h5 was the only move to give me the advantage after g3 I'm winning. And then the rest, you know, my king's better than his, my pawns are better. My bishop's better. I'm higher rated. I'm not on my phone talking to my wife, so it was great. Uh, Nighthawk233 subscribed. I don't know if you could cheat using your phone like in the year 2000. I think that would make you play worse. So, Yeah. I didn't hear his phone ring. I just saw him talking on the phone. I was like, why'd you talk to me on the phone in the U.S. Championship? What? You gotta leave the room. <clears throat> 